Today I'm gonna read this story, The Dot. The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snow, snow straw, storm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see what, where it, take, it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a, gr a good strong job. There! Her teacher pick, picked the paper and studied the, it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the papers toward Vashti and quietly said, Now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashti walked into her art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was her little dot he had drawn. Her dot all framed it framed in the swirly gold. Hmm I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolor and set to work. Vashti paint and paint. A red dot, a pink dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow. She discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting a lot, lots of new, new dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her color with a bigger brush on a bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting, painting a dot. school art show a few weeks later. Vashti's many dots make quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a very great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a, a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy pencils shook as he drew his line. Vashti started at the boy. Vashti stared at 
the boys giggle with swiggles. And then she said, she said, please sign it. The end. Bye.